Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about whether or not you need a degree for cybersecurity. So I get a lot of questions from you guys in the comments as well as the Discord channel asking whether or not you need a degree for cybersecurity. And the alternative route to getting a degree is usually a boot camp. And that path is definitely becoming a lot more popular nowadays just because it's cheaper and it saves time. So based on those questions, I decided to make this video that is kind of like a pros and cons list of choosing a cybersecurity degree versus a cybersecurity boot camp. So first starting off with the cons of getting a cybersecurity degree. And by degree, I typically mean an associates or a bachelor's, which are typically the degrees needed for entry-level cybersecurity roles. And I think one of the biggest cons or downsides of choosing a cybersecurity degree over a bootcamp is the fact that in most cybersecurity degree programs, you don't take any of your more cybersecurity focused classes or basically your most important cybersecurity classes until maybe the third or fourth year of your degree program if you're going for your bachelor's or in the second year of your associates and this is usually just due to the fact that colleges want to make money and typically as a freshman or during your first and second years of college i'll just speak from a bachelor's degree point of view but you're typically taking general education classes which means it's the writing, it's the, the pre-calculus, calculus, the sociology classes that you have to take just to meet your degree requirements that are completely outside of your actual major. And that is one of the biggest annoyances I have with the overall college degree program just because most of the stuff you learn in the first two years of college, if you're in a four-year degree, does not apply to your actual major. It's usually the intro classes, the ones that your college wants you to take to help you become more well-rounded, which I definitely agree with, but I don't think it takes two years of intro and general education courses to become well-rounded especially when you could have been instead taking your actual major classes that actually relate to what you want to learn and that is really where boot camps win against cybersecurity degrees just because when you go into a boot camp you typically already have the resources the material the outline of the entire boot camp course laid out for you and you know what you're going to learn every single week and you don't have to go in there and basically take fluff classes in the first half of it before you ever learn anything relevant to what you actually want to learn. And by the way, if you're someone who is currently looking to join a cybersecurity bootcamp, I actually created a course on of what you should look at while you're choosing the right cybersecurity bootcamp for you, as well as a video of the top seven bootcamps in cybersecurity that I've listed as well in the description below. All right, the next con in this list is it's definitely something you've all heard of and thought about and that is just the length of time it takes to get a degree versus completing a boot camp so typically for associate's degrees it's about two years for bachelor's degrees it's about four years those are very long periods of time compared to the typical boot camp which is from a few months to maybe max a year if you're doing it part-time or just or even doing it self-paced so that you're going at your own schedule and you're really just completing it when you want to which is a great option for those of you who may be working full-time or may have other life obligations and that doesn't allow you to study and go to school full-time now of course colleges also have part-time options especially when you're taking you know a lower course load or just less credits in general but that also typically means that you're extending the amount of time that you spend in college which in turn also means that you're going to be paying more because typically part-time credits cost more than full-time credits depending on the college that you go to so if you're getting your college degree part-time it's going to cost you a lot more time and additionally a lot more money compared to a boot camp especially for a boot camp that may be self-paced and that's simply going to be one flat rate for the cost of the materials that you'll be learning on the boot camp and as long as you can complete it in their allotted window time which is typically a year or so then you'll be able to work on those courses as part-time or as full-time as you want to I know when I was graduating high school, most people were not looking at boot camps at all, especially because back then, most people didn't even consider anything else besides going straight to college without even thinking about it. And that's definitely something I think that society has made us question more in the last in the last five or so years. And I think that's something that is very good because first of all, college is very expensive, especially considering inflation. My college tuition went up $1,000 every year. And I can really suck because let's face it, there may be ups and downs in college. I personally had failed two classes in college and retaking those classes, I paid out of pocket with my own money I earned from part-time jobs. And just retaking that course over the summertime costed $3,000. 
for one course and I'm pretty sure that's on the cheaper side because I went to a state school for those of you who don't know I went to Temple University in Philadelphia Pennsylvania and honestly Temple is probably one of the cheapest schools in the city and it still cost an arm and a leg for me to pay for a summer course which is crazy and if I didn't take it that summer I would have pushed back my graduation date and it would have costed even more to take an extra semester of schooling which is why I took a summer course so I really do think that in college time really does work against you because first of all your typical bachelor's degree is four years and if you fail a major course that that hinders you graduating on time then that typically is going to get pushed out another semester and another semester and honestly it's pretty normal for people to graduate after five years or four and a half years or more and just knowing that isn't time that you're going to get back compared to a boot camp that is only going to be maybe six months to a year maximum it's just very different compared to the options that you have if you go for a boot camp and then get a job you may already be working for three years before the person in college even gets their first job. So I do think that's something that definitely important to talk about. And the last con or downside of getting a degree versus a bootcamp is something that I kind of already touched on and that is the cost. So college is, as you all know, very expensive. So the average for your education at a typical university in the US can cost from $30,000, $40,000 to even upwards of $100,000, $200,000 just for your bachelor's degree. And I actually have friends who have graduated from college with just their bachelor's and have six figures worth of debt and their salary is a very typical five-figure salary that is going to take decades to pay back especially with interest for private loans so you just want to make sure that it's financially the best decision for you to go for a degree and i know there's people with dream schools out there even with dream schools i do feel like if there's an in-state school that is offering you a full ride way better tuition and just a lower cost of getting an education i would personally choose that over an out-of-state school that that isn't going to give you scholarship or financial aid or any kind of financial assistance with your degree but of course there are people who can make an argument that that the reputation of a school may help you find a better job or help you make connections and those are really just all another list of pros and cons but just comparing colleges to a typical boot camp which, which can cost from a few thousand dollars to the maximum I've seen about thirteen or sixteen thousand dollars. They typically also have payment plans, scholarships for underrepresented minorities, as well as some that have ISAs or income shared agreements, where you don't have to pay for the boot camp until you actually find a job. Those are all options that come with boot camps, and it's definitely become a lot more popular compared to five, ten years ago, where companies maybe didn't consider boot camp hires, or maybe only hired people if they had a bachelor's degree or some kind of college education. But nowadays, a lot of companies are becoming more flexible just because just because they need the talent. A lot of tech sectors don't have enough talent, especially in cybersecurity. The statistic is that by 2025, there's going to be three million plus available jobs in cybersecurity, and we definitely do not have all of the cybersecurity talent needed to fill those roles okay so now that i've bashed college degrees um, i do want to go into a list of the pros or the positive things about getting a college education obviously not everyone is going to see the list of pros and cons and feel the same way a con to me may be a pro to someone else and vice versa but these are just some of the things that i've noticed when i was in college that i feel like i appreciated and may potentially help college become more worth it considering the tens of thousands of dollars that you're putting into that degree okay so the number one pro that i found after getting my bachelor's degree is probably just having a sense of community so obviously a bachelor's program is four years a boot camp maybe on average six months so throughout the four years of college you definitely make a lot more connections and grow deeper bonds with the people that you meet in school and that is something i do think can be priceless depending on the people you meet who you're able to connect with if you're still friends to this day i do think that's hard to put a price on something like that and i do think it's one of the biggest if not the biggest pro of going to college and another reason for that is just because it is just in general harder to make friends as an adult when you're out of school college really just makes it a perfect environment for you to meet people connect with others meet people from different backgrounds that you may not have previously have been introduced to learn about different cultures and just get a wider view of the world and i really do think college is good for that but of course when i went to college it was in person i know a lot of you guys that are currently in school are currently dealing with either virtual classes or hybrid classes and that definitely would hinder what i just talked about and could probably make it very similar to a boot camp 
Many boot camps are virtual. They may have in-person boot camps if you're going to a specific university or have some kind of local boot camp program. But typically, a lot of them are done just virtually online, and you may not be able to connect as much with with other people that you're going through the boot camp with. And the second part of this is networking opportunities. So typically, colleges have career fairs, different events and conferences different speakers where companies may come to your campus and give a presentation and allow you to kind of mix and mingle with people who are already working and graduated from that university to try and recruit interns or full-timers. And I think that's another good part about college because they make it a lot easier for you to kind of meet and reach out to companies compared to a bootcamp where a lot of research and outreach on jobs may be done on your own. They may have some kind of career resources that they can provide you or or maybe resume reviews, cover letter workshops, and stuff like that. But typically university have a lot more corporate partners than boot camps do unless it's just a really big boot camp and they have companies directly hiring from them. But again, since your cohort of the boot camp learned basically the exact information together, it may be a lot more competitive to get a job at one of those companies if they're all just looking at your same resumes doing the same projects. So I do also think that a college education may make your resume a bit more colorful, but it also depends because someone in college may not even try and put anything on their resume compared to someone in a boot camp who maybe completed their boot camp program and then they did some volunteering and then they have their own niche side projects in cybersecurity. They're learning different tools, reverse engineering and everything like that. So. It really depends on the individual, but I do think college just makes it easier for you to have those different touch points and potential opportunities to network, volunteer, do different things, and just have more surface area to be exposed to those opportunities. And in terms of networking, I do think conferences are another big thing. A lot of conferences typically only allow students to apply for their scholarships, and that's typically going to be two or four year accredited college or university students but there are conferences out there like the grace hopper conference which is my favorite conference in the world and they have created a scholarship for boot camp students so i do think that more of the world is going to become acclimated to those who come directly from a boot camp and maybe didn't go the typical college route and i think that's awesome to see just having a wider breadth of options that are cheaper and more time efficient but the last thing on this list is unique courses. So I know I mentioned in the beginning that colleges typically aren't going to give you those cool cybersecurity courses or courses related to your major until you are about to graduate as a junior or a senior and that's when you actually get the cool courses that are actually related to your major. But I do think that once you get to that point, they do have a lot more unique courses that you may not typically see or get a chance to learn about in a typical bootcamp program just because in a bootcamp program they're typically going to teach you the most common or the most well-known or the most important basically concepts that you'll need for the job in a cybersecurity entry-level role or whatever role that the bootcamp is preparing you for but when it comes to university there may be some niche there may be some niche electives or courses that you can take in those junior and senior years where you may learn about mobile security or securing a blockchain. Now, obviously these are very niche and I'm sure not every university has cool electives or cool cybersecurity courses like that. But it's just to give an example that you likely won't see those in a normal cybersecurity bootcamp unless it is also very niche, just because obviously there's less time to learn those things. So they really just want you to focus on the most important information that you need to know compared to college where you know you have more time and you could probably throw in one or two extra cybersecurity courses that are very different and very niche that can teach you a lot more that you typically wouldn't get from a boot camp all right so that's it for this video let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below and of course feel free to drop any pros and cons of a college degree or a boot camp in the comments below as well that you might have thought of or have in mind and as always, feel free to join our Discord channel linked in the description below. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on post notifications. I post videos every Wednesdays and Sundays at 12 p.m. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!